There's something that in common. There has to be, and I think the doctors found it. It's a medical mystery striking thousands of women, causing terrible pain, horrible skin lesions, and crawling sensations all over the body. For years, doctors struggled to figure out what really causes this bizarre condition, if it's even real or just in the victim's head. Tonight, ABC 15's Adam Slinger reveals some new research causing the mystery to grow even deeper. And we want to warn you, this is graphic. You know you have this thing, you can feel it. For her, it felt like there were microscopic bugs, parasites, living inside of her skin. To have literally thousands of those running around on your face, hundreds of thousands. That was three months ago. This is Stacey Hillman Today. It's hard to even think about washing the dishes or doing laundry or going to the grocery store because you're consumed by this feeling. Her husband Jeff watched as his wife slipped into a life of constant crying and constant pain. I couldn't do it. It was, it was not fun. She went to doctor after doctor. All told her the same thing. They all told me that there was nothing wrong. There's nothing they could do for me. Doctors called the syndrome Morgellons. The illness affects mainly women in their 50s. And just last month, the CDC released a shocking study. Doctors can't figure out what's causing it. And so the report suggests that to some degree, the patients are delusional. It had me wondering, is my wife crazy? How can you look at someone's face? A beautiful person with, 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 with unusual looking skin and tell them you're delusional. Omar Amin is the director of the Parasitology Center in Scottsdale. He's been studying Morgellons for several years. And there's no parasites. He says no, there are not any bugs crawling on the skin, but there's no doubt it feels that way. He believes the patient's nerves are damaged, poisoned by a toxin, and that toxin is spreading. It sounds like science fiction, but we have 100% recovery rate. He says Stacy is part of a small group of people who have a highly allergic reaction to certain chemicals. In this case, he believes the poison that was attacking her body had actually been there for decades. It was mercury leaking out of a cracked filling in her tooth. I think the doctors found it. Stacy replaced her fillings with a different substance, and she says life is suddenly good again. It's very emotional because it's I finally realized that, wow, this nightmare is going to end. The CDC says people should be very cautious about getting treatment for something that's not medically proven and that anyone who claims to have the answer is going out on a limb. I'm Adam Slinger, ABC 15 News. It's hard to imagine, though, looking at somebody who has this sort mm -hmm. of rash on their body and saying, well, you're just delusional. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's showing up physically. And you see her husband's pain in that story as well, yeah. because he's saying he was afraid to even leave her at home because he thought that, you know, she could be suicidal because of this. So yeah, you can imagine the frustration. Yeah, it's, it's a real deal.